guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another makeup episode by Jalia. <laughs> In today's video you guys I'm showing you tips and I'm also demonstrating each and everything for you for your makeup to stop or for you to stop sweating during your makeup so in case you want to see how to maintain that long TVT that matte matte look definitely continue watching I'm going quickly and draw my brows so that we can get started so I'm using this eyebrow pencil it's called Eden so it's the one I'm using to fill in my brows in with a spoolie to brush my eyebrows chup, chup, chup. Okay, I'll be using these brushes from InStylish yes you guys you can go and check them on Instagram and also on Facebook Instagram InStylish they come for in a set and they're so affordable so definitely down in the description box I'll make sure I link their website so I'll be using this flat angled brush Bring in with this Elegal Pro Concealer this is the phone Just putting a tiny bit of it. Going in with this sort of a flat, dense brush, so I'm going to clean up my eyebrows. Just Okay, so first of all, you first need to know your skin type, whether you're oily, dry, combo, normal skin. First thing I'm going to go in, my skin is actually moisturized very well. So I'm going in with a mattifying primer. Yep. So I'm going in with this. This is from Rimmel. This one is from Rimmel. And I'm going in... So if you're a person of oily skin, I wouldn't recommend you to go in with a hydrating primer because you know what? You've already moisturized and you don't need, you know, that shiny, shiny, all that glowy, glowy makeup. So I go in with a mattifying primer. Another thing is to go in with a setting or a setting powder or a baking powder. So I'm going to go in with this powder. This is from Sasha Cosmetics. So I'm taking this Sasha setting powder and I'm putting it on my t-zone where I usually get oily or where I usually sweat a lot so I usually sweat from this place this place here this is my problem area my nose usually sweats a lot it gets shiny it it does everything that can actually ruin my makeup so I make sure that I set it very 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 well just going in So this process, we do this to block oils, you know, from coming out. All that sweat is totally into your skin. So it's not going to come out. So that's why we always do that. Take care. This, this. Oh, this is how my face is looking like. <laughs> this is how it's looking. So, so I'm going to go in with, with a foundation. So ooh, what's that? Going in with Maybelline Fit Me. And this foundation, this is the matte. Oh, it has a matte finish. Oops. 
so maybelline i salute it for their foundations so i'm going in with my beauty sponge my old beauty sponge and i'm just putting just a tiny layer of foundation like i'm not making it too much like that just a tiny bit of foundation Make sure that it's all blended very well. So reasons why you're seeing that this foundation doesn't match me properly, it's because this foundation oxidizes on me. I don't know why, but it always oxidizes on me, so it's going to darken up. That's why I go like a shade lighter than my skin, because at the end of the day, I don't want to be that darkest person. Your ears, never forget your ears, okay? Please. I usually love to bring in my foundation just to blend my neck with my face. So I'm going in with this NY Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. This is in the shade Mahogany. Mahogany, so taking mahogany just to highlight my face. Hi, honey. make sure if you don't want your foundation or you know a lot of creasing on your foundation or your concealer make sure you don't put a lot of product that is the key the more you add in the high chances you get of you know of your yourself sweating and having those creasing so i suggest you just go in with just a tiny bit just to highlight you know it's okay like that and my nose I'm also going to contour my face and I'm I'm taking this from Maybelline the Super Stasic Foundation. Just I'm going in with my beauty sponge to blend everything together and when you're blending make sure that you look up so that this part can get the concealer that it actually needs so always look up like that and close your eyes and that is if you've not put on your lashes yet so I'm bringing this concealer here and looking up doing the same thing to this eye Looking up, putting it on my lids too. That. Okay, my forehead. Hmm, love that blend. be using this brush from in stylish to blend my contour very very well my nose contour it actually blends so well so I'll definitely recommend it blends my
going in with my beauty sponge to blend out any harsh line to make sure that my contour is totally blended with my foundation and my concealer yeah oh wow i love how this this brush has blended my contour what do you think guys i'm going to go in and bake my face so but before you bake you need to get a mirror a mirror and make sure that all the concealer is blended and you don't have any creasings around this place so then you get your beauty sponge dump it in the powder So whenever I don't bake my face, I tend to get super, super oily. So this process is so important when it comes to my makeup. I make sure that my face is baked properly for at least two to three minutes. That way this powder is going to drink and sink all this makeup, all this foundation and concealer. So I'm going in with a brush and this is the setting powder. This is from Mac Mineral. This is the Mac Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. So I'm going in with my flat brush and I'm pushing this powder into my skin like so. So I go in with the finishing powder or with the setting powder and then I push this loose powder into my skin. That is going to ensure that my makeup has that long TBT or that lasting. It's not going to move. It's not, I'm not going to sweat i'm going in with a powder brush this is going to help me set my entire face going in with my mark mineralized skin finish still the dark deep so i'm setting my entire face I'm going in with the, with the setting spray. This is from NYX and I'm spraying my entire face. So then I go back with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is going to be like I've added another layer of, of makeup, of powder. Yeah, so... In with blusher this is from uvs place this is another tip you guys if you actually know that you, you actually know that you sweat a lot please 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 excuse yourself from highlighters yes if you actually know that you crease a lot or you sweat a lot or you're too 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 oily please excuse yourself from highlighters or oh, just put a tiny bit Maybe on your nose. Then go in with the with this brush, the powder brush, and so I'm going in with the lips. And I'll be going in with this one from Wet and Wild. I'm taking a gloss. This is actually clear gloss. Please, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe down below.
join my family you know what subscription is just for free hit the subscribe button and also hit on the bell notification the notification bell you guys put it on and see you in my next video